एवरीवन वेलकम अनन्या अग्रवाल हु वाज फाइनलिस्ट इन गूगल गर्ल हैकेथॉन 2023 सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो शी विल गाइड अस एंड टेल हर एक्सपीरियंस इन द प्रीवियस प्रीवियस ईयर हैकेथॉन सो अनन्या लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो विद योर इंट्रोडक्शन हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज अनन्या अग्रवाल एंड आई एम करेंटली इन माय थर्ड ईयर ऑफ डुअल डिग्री प्रोग्राम एट बिट पिलानी हैदराबाद कैंपस एज यू मेंशन आई वाज the google girl has a sound finalist in the year 2023 thank you so much for having me upasna and i'll be willing to answer any questions congratulations ananya so let's start the video sabse pehle i would like to ask your dsa preparation journey when you started doing dsa and what were the some struggles you faced and some problems you faced and how you tackled them basically all your dsa journey Uh, it's funny how I started my DSA journey. Actually, my younger brother motivated me to start my DSA journey. My younger brother is a DCO finalist, Sonal Computer uh, Olympiad finalist. So uh, when I was watching him do competitive programming, it motivated me to start uh, doing and pursuing DSA. So initially, um, I started DSA by going through uh, videos by Shriver and Love Papar. Uh, I also follow Ankit Verma for Aditya Verma for some of um, the topics such as stacks and trees. Now, apart from that, if I have to go through some important questions or important topics, uh, I go through the USACO website. Okay, Ananya. Next, coming to resume making step. Basically, this is the main part in this hackathon. Like, firstly, we need to upload our resume and then. Uh, resume get shortlisted so what are the tips from your side for the students who are applying now for the resume that that right our first preliminary round was resume shortlisting so one of the most underrated things i feel in a resume is having your resume free of any grammatical errors and at the same time having all the links in your resume functional uh, for example i have seen a lot of resumes where people put up their github lead code or uh, linkedin profile link but none of them seem to be working so make sure uh, that all of them are working the other thing that i would like to add is put in a lot of projects and experience uh, that you have done in terms of uh, tech experiences or tech internships uh, and make sure to add the tech stacks that you have used uh, they add a technical aspect to your uh, resume added to that make sure to add if you are a part of club such as gdsc or acm such global clubs uh, help to show that you have leadership qualities and you are able to collaborate with people on a global scale okay ananya uh, a little pause uh, guys uh, i'll upload a google form link in the description box so you need to upload your resume and the top 30 resumes which i received via google form i'll review them and share the review of the resume on the email so top 30 resumes which i'll receive from the google form i'll review them and share the feedback on your email so make sure you upload your resume and get it reviewed by your team so ananya next moving to oa pattern like after getting resume shortlisted what was the oa and uh, what was the level of the oa basically lead code hard or medium uh, so the first round was uh, the goc challenge or the oa round Uh, wherein we had to uh, answer two uh, DSA questions in a span of 60 minutes. Uh, the questions were between lead code medium to lead code hard. I would suggest people to go through topics such as linked list, heap, and dynamic programming. A few of my friends in their senior year, like I think this year the eligibility is 2025 or uh, onwards to 2027. Uh, people who are in their senior year can focus on topics like graph. okay ananya yeah. so next coming to like after clearing the oa uh, as you told me there was a workshop for 2 3 days so what was in that workshop and what do you all learn in that l- learning cohort uh the learning cohort and workshop uh, spanned over 2 weeks so um, we had uh, so every single week over the weekend we used to have two hour sessions with the workshop and two hour learning cohort on sunday so uh, it covered topics such as silicon designing 
uh, structural testing. All of them were important to sit for the second round uh, test as well as prepare ourselves for the third round, which was the hackathon round. Okay, so next coming to like uh, after the cohort, there was a test. So what was all in that test? Like uh, OA ke jaise tha, ye after kuch MCQ questions thi ya, was it subjective? Uh, they were MCQ based questions and um, they were mostly, so uh, there were 50 questions as far as I remember or 45, I might be wrong. So uh, around 10 to 15 of them were mental ability questions and the remaining 30 questions were completely based on the workshops that we had. So whatever topics uh, they covered in the workshop uh, were asked in the MCQ. Okay, so after giving the test, clearing all these rounds, what was your hackathon experience and all about your problem statement, how you made the project and how you reached to the final stage? Uh, so the last round was the most interesting one because uh, personally speaking, I have never worked on VLSI design based questions. Uh, so my question was detecting stuck at fault um, in a circuit. So I had to go through a lot of literature to understand uh, where all we can experience stuck at fault what is the structure of a stuck at fault error. And based on that, we had to come up with a solution. So my solution used the PODEM algorithm. PODEM algorithm is again something that I learned during that phase. So um, I used that algorithm. And as it was an individual participant hackathon, we didn't really have groups. So we individually submitted our project. So we had to upload uh, an abstract as well as a readme description of our project on the Okay, so like this was all about the Google Girl Hackathon. So in a nutshell, what are the tips from your side for the students for this hackathon particularly? Like they can track and become the winner of this hackathon. I think the first and the most important step would be resume shortlisting. Make sure to have an ATS friendly um, resume. Use websites such as Overleaf uh, to draft your resume. Uh, also, uh, the next would be to pay attention to the workshops that we had, because if I remember correctly, only those people who could score full in round two got selected for round three. Uh, so make sure to pay attention to the workshops and make notes during the workshop. Uh, and as for the last round, uh, your solution should be innovative. Uh, come up with new solutions to the problems that they have given. Try not to use basic things like, let's say, binary trees or, uh, you know, very basic concepts to answer the question. Show them that they are put, show them that you are putting in effort to come up with something new. Okay. 